Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week number 13. Thank you so much for following along on this season of Technique of the Week. We have made it to the 13th episode. So I really hope you've enjoyed uh, this season on Technique of the Week. And I appreciate every single one of you who has joined or are joining us. And also uh, for those of you that are subscribing to me. So thank you so much. This week on Technique of the Week, we're gonna be doing one of my favorite things and that's dimensional fabric. And we're gonna be using a product called Terial Magic. And it's a spray, sort of like a starch, but not really. Um, what you do is you spray it on your fabric and your fabric becomes stiff. And if you're doing any sort of dimensional work like I like to do, it'll actually keep those folds and make them last longer. So it's a really cool product. I wanna show you a couple things um, about it just real quick. What I did was I sprayed a bunch of fabric and this is, you know, regular um, this is cherry wood hand dyed fabric. So it usually has a much softer hand than this, but I sprayed it. And what I did was I let it dry and then I took my iron to it and it came out sort of really crisp. Um, you can see that it like completely, you know, has a bounces back. Um, it is a little bit more like paper. So I thought, oh, what kind of cool things can we do with this now that it acts and behaves a little bit more like paper? So if you can think of all sorts of origami techniques and things like that where you would do paper folding, this would be really great for that. Um, what I did was I had taken some uh, a paper punch and you can see there, um, I have punched it out with a paper punch and also created some long strips out of this green to make a little dimensional uh, sort of landscape out of this. And I love how this came out. All of these really great um, uh, little fronds and, and grasses here. And I also took some uh, fiber fill and what I did was I got this really wet with the Terial Magic. So I would take this, I would spray it, get it really nice and wet and then I sort of shaped it into the clouds that I wanted for my piece. Now the cool thing about the Terial Magic is that it sort of keeps the um, polyfill from like bearding back up and, and it, it's sort of going to keep its shape now. So if you've ever wanted to use fiber fill on the front of your quilt, um, this would be a great way to do that and get those cloud dimensions in your art quilts. So um, as you can see, I did all the little paper punches and they all came out super, super cute. I love this stuff. I can't wait to try it with like my smocking template and all the other types of uh, pleating and folding and all sorts of other cool things that I like to do. So please give this a check out. Um, Terio Magic, definitely really cool stuff. And um, I also understand that if you get your fabric in this form, right, where it's sort of paper-like, then you can use your uh, digital die cutters and you can send it through your digital die cutting. So if you're into that, this is gonna be a really great uh, buy for you. This stuff is really awesome. Comes in two different sizes, a big one and a little one. Um, I can definitely see getting the big one and using it over and over and over again. So uh, anyway, give this one a try, Terial Magic. Um, I know you'll enjoy it. Again, thank you so much for following along this season. I really appreciate you. So be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muffin.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and you'll get a copy of these videos in your newsfeed every single week. And you'll also be able to subscribe to my newsletter, get the 52 Technique of the Week checklist so you can follow along all along with season one and now with season two. So thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate you and I will see you again in season three. Bye.